Melanie Phillips is a columnist for the Daily Mail and author of the book Londonistan. She joins me now from London. Melanie Phillips, welcome back to the program. Good to have you here. Thank you. Good to see you again. Uh, what's the most important thing you've learned, all of Britain has learned, from these latest terror uh, plots? Well, the most important thing is what uh, many of us knew already, which is that uh, Britain remains a principal target for Al-Qaeda, that uh, the threats that we face consist of uh, interlinked networks of jihadis, some of whom are British Muslims, who until now have preoccupied us very greatly, this phenomenon of British Muslims. Um, as you may know, the uh, suspects in this case uh, seem to be uh, from abroad. We don't know yet whether there are any British Muslims also in the plot, but clearly uh, we are in the uh, throes of uh, a fight against an enemy uh, with links around the world and embedded in Britain. Does it surprise you at all that a couple of the plotters that were involved with the National Health Service, and what impact is that having on the British public? Yes, well, a number of the suspects have been involved with the National Health Service. We don't yet know whether they are actually the plotters. Um, there are something like seven doctors uh, who are being who have been arrested and are being interviewed, and others who have connections also with our health service. We don't know whether the health service was particularly targeted, uh, was a kind of useful umbrella group to bring together uh, these jihadis, uh, whether the health service is particularly vulnerable uh, to foreign doctors without proper checks, and this is a matter of great and growing concern that maybe our checks, undoubtedly our checks in the health service have been far too lax, as indeed our, our immigration controls generally far too lax. But I think what has also struck me is the shock that people have had that doctors who are in the business of curing people uh, can be in the business of killing people. And personally, I think this is very naive. We have forgotten, for example, that the Nazis uh, had doctors who were involved in Dr. Mengele, in the most terrible experiments on people, mass uh, uh, killing programs. We've also forgotten that uh, uh, the uh, Al-Qaeda number two, Ayman Zawahri, is a doctor and many jihadists actually have been and are doctors. Uh, if you are brainwashed by fanatical uh, religious cult, uh, which is what we're up against, uh, into the belief that for various reasons certain people are subhuman, not properly human, then even though you are a doctor trained to cure human human beings of suffering, if you don't see certain people as human, then you kill them. And that's what we don't really understand in Britain. We haven't really got our heads around the fact that what we're all up against in Britain and America and the free world in general is religious fanaticism, which uh, really makes uh, no allowance for intelligence or whether someone's a member of a caring profession.